Hey, this is Bjorn Rebney, CEO and Chairman of Bellator MMA. You're watching ProMMANow.com. Hey guys, Daniel Theodore here from ProMMANow.com with the beautiful and talented Jessica I. How's it going? Wonderful. How are you today? I'm very good here at the Bellator Fighting Championship, the first time on Spike TV. Do you have any, uh, any favorites here or anyone you train with or have associations with tonight? Um, no, not fighting tonight. I'm here with my teammate, Brian Rogers. Um, but no, just here to enjoy fights and excited for them to be on Spike now. Where do you and Brian train at? Uh, Strong Style Martial Arts and Fitness Center in Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Yep. All right. I'm a Michigan boy, so I'm close. Okay. What is your background? Like, how, how long have you been training mixed martial arts or martial arts? Did you have any wrestling background? Tell the fans kind of so they get to know you. Right on. Um, I am actually, I've been an athlete my entire life, so I've played every sport freaking possible. Um, I don't have your traditional, like, MMA background or karate background. I didn't, I didn't do that when I was a kid. But I was um, raised on a farm, so I guess I kind of got that hillbilly mentality. So um, I um, have been doing it now for seven years, but actively competing for about four. So are you like strong from like oh, yeah. naturally from like lifting stuff and milking cows and yeah we used to it was funny because we used to have like races on like who could like throw and help bale hay the fastest so um, we used to have like races like that or like so you're in the Matt I, Hughes strength and conditioning program and it works for real right it does it's that it's that natural ability that and then strength and grip yeah. you probably have hard, hard grip strength right mm -hmm. exactly it's exactly so right. you're coming off one of the most impressive submission wins ever really standing arm triangle choke how do you feel about that. It was the greatest moment of my life. I mean, I feel like pe people finally gave me the respect that I deserve after I got that. And I think that people realized I didn't, or think that I didn't have a submission game. So it kind of shut them up. So it was really nice to Absolutely. get that. That's one of my favorites. It's my most popular video on YouTube. And you did it standing. You didn't have to take it to the ground. Yeah, Zoila kind of fell right into it, too. And I think the height and um, the height advantage that I had over her really made it a lot easier for me to get it. So You, you probably have pretty long arms for like 125 pounds. Does that help you get chokes, arm triangles, maybe Darces even, stuff like that? I'm, um, I'm on the bigger end for the 125 females. Like, I'm taller. My arms are usually longer. Like, I'm usually a lot stronger. So I do feel like that's an advantage. Awesome. And what's coming up for you? You got anything planned? I do. Um, I will be fighting again in the Bellator cage in April. And if you follow me on Twitter at Jessica Evil I'll release it in probably about another month. So you can follow me there. Follow <laughs> Jessica Evil Eye, guys. And then you'll know who she's fighting once she's allowed to announce it. <laughs> yeah, once I'm allowed to announce it, I'll tell everybody. And then after that, maybe Bellator will be holding a 125 tournament you're hearing? Yes, the 125 tournament will be happening. It's just a matter of making sure that they, you know, they put it together properly. And, and I'm not in no rush right now. You know, Your I'm, eye is on the prize? Oh, my eye is on the prize. Looking at that gold? No, I, I want a title. I do want a title, but right now I feel like I'm the people's champ. I feel like that everybody knows after I've won against Zoila and they've seen all my other fights that I'm, I'm kind of the people's champ right now. And that's... that's it feels more noble to me than anything. Is your quirkiest thing the growing up on the farm thing, or is there anything else fans maybe should should know about you? Anything off the top of your head, or any stories about training? I mean, oh well, obviously train. I, I get picked on by all the guys on a regular basis. Like I am like the butt of all their jokes because I'm. I, I don't know. I think it's like I'm their little sister. So on a on a regular occasion, they're usually making fun of me. Like I just got a tattoo on my neck, mm -hmm. and they all drew it on their neck. So they all were running around, and they put the evil one. I'm not kidding. You see, Maiosek, who fights for UFC, yeah. he actually had it wrote and had evil one all down like both of his neck. Very yeah, nice. So. All right. So you got your Twitter out there. Anything else you want to plug before we go? No, just follow you know me on Twitter. You can stay updated that way. Follow my teammates, and also stay tuned to watch some more of you. All right. Thank you, guys. Good luck.